Yo, what's up guys? Sunday night after a long day hanging out with the family. Tonight, I'm out here in the garage and I want to install some rock lights. Now, these rock lights are the same ones I used on my Can-Am X3. If you saw the video of TDS, I did show off the rock lights. They do look great. They are very bright. I've compared them to some of the other brands, mainly KC Highlights. And these seem to be just as bright as the KC Highlights, but for a fraction of the price. So I think you get them on Amazon for around 90 bucks. That's pretty cheap, but considering you get eight rock lights, they're Bluetooth, and honestly, they look really good. We also install them on Timmy's truck on his 3500. If you saw that video, check that video out. And yeah, so I'm installing them on my toy hauler. So that way we're at camp and it's nighttime, we're around the fire. We can have the Can-Am and the toy hauler gradually changing lights, making a nice little party theme going on. So if you haven't seen my channel before, we gave away some Casey highlights, rock lights. The last time, this is probably about a couple months ago so now it's time for a giveaway again and i'm going to be giving away some x bright rock lights these are the eight piece bluetooth and although these are going to my toy hauler i am going to get another set for the giveaway the only problem with that is because of the epidemic and the beer flu i know somebody who won't be having any um i don't know when they're gonna get here so i contacted stereo city which is my local um stereo shop for utv uh installs and I asked them, when are you, are you guys going to get these uh, rock lights? And they're kind of on back order. And it's because of the beer flu. Start working on not touching your face because one main way viruses spread is when you touch your own mouth, nose, or eyes. So this is what comes in the box of a big bowl of spaghetti. But in the bowl of spaghetti, you do get eight of these rock lights. Um, these rock lights are gonna work perfect for me. The only thing is, um, although these are very long, the toy hauler is really long. So I did buy some extensions. So you do get a controller. This is the controller it comes with. It's got two little uh, pigtails here, each with four connections for four um, rock lights and the other four for the other set of rock lights. So they give you all these rubber grommets. They have these flat ones. They also have some curved ones, which work great for like the Can-Am or the Razors where you could put them on a, uh, Part of the cage or part of the frame um, but these flat ones i'm going to use these for the toy hauler it's pretty simple you can kind of just run the wiring through here you don't have to worry about it getting pinched or damaged and it's pretty clean and you can just go ahead and bolt these up so that's what i'm gonna do now so i'm gonna time lapse this nothing uh, too difficult along the uh toy hauler there is a piece of wood it's gonna be easy to drill to through and i'm just gonna go ahead and get started now All right, so I mounted all the rock lights except for one because I'm only gonna use seven. And um, this is the Bluetooth controller. I'm gonna put this in a central location and then just run all the wires to this central location. And then the power and ground, I'm gonna have to run power and ground somewhere. Not sure where exactly. I'm leaning towards the front, but not 100%. So I'm gonna start wiring everything right now. Um, but that's gonna be boring. So through the magic of editing, it's gonna be done in 10 seconds. Woo! So I got them all wired up. They are currently hooked up to a, a Milwaukee 12 volt battery, and the wiring is all kind of just everywhere. I still gotta start zip tying and all that, but they are powered on. Check it out. I think it looks pretty damn sweet, dude. So it looks like you got a little bit of hot spots, but there's not much I could do about that. It's just the lights are a little too close to the uh, floor, but it gives a damn. Looks awesome. There's the rear, and this is the party side over here. So these are going to be good locator lights for when we're, when we're riding at nighttime and we're trying to find camp. Um, I also want to see if I could get one of those LED, um, what do you call it, flagpoles? But um, I'm not sure which one to go with because I've seen mixed reviews and mostly they're all bad reviews of some that I've seen on Amazon. 
um hopefully one day when i go to like a expo or something a vendor will have some and they'll kind of show them off and then maybe i'll make a decision then but for now these rock lights look awesome so i'm gonna finish up the wiring and um i'll get back to you guys when i'm ready to bluetooth sync the uh, x3 and the toy hauler so check that out all right i'm gonna turn off these lights to get the full effect so it won't be easier to see the trailer is looking awesome i'm gonna turn on the car sync the bluetooth for both of them and then um then i'll show you guys that they both sync together rock lights Ooh, there we go let's turn off the lights inside here and the rock lights are going off on the x3 close this door It's gonna be kind of hard to see. But let's see if I can match them up. All right, so if you guys can tell, the light shining off the car and the light shining off the toy hauler is gonna be matching. So right there is red, we got green, blue, and then we got orange. Well, that don't look very orange in that one. It's kind of greenish. I guess the orange isn't very good. Anyways, then we'll have Both of these are blasting off here. So there it is. The lights on the X3 and the lights on the toy hauler going off at the same time, sync together through Bluetooth. They look freaking awesome. I'm very happy with them. All controlled by the app on the phone. Again, these are X Bright Rock Lights. Man, you guys probably can't see me. It's so dark out here. So there it is, the lights on the X3 and the toy hauler were in sync, um, changing from red to green to blue. Uh, whatever colors I chose on the phone, they were synced both and they look awesome. So um, it's gonna look even better at camp. I hope to uh, get some better shots at camp with the car and the trailer next to each other. And um, I can't wait to show you guys that when we're out in the desert. So if you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button. If you like videos like this, and thanks for watching, I really appreciate it. Peace out. And I haven't touched my face in weeks. <laughs> in weeks. Mr. President.